Hello, I'm John Ball. I'm an Associate Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Mississippi State University, and I'm the co-director of the Sensor Analysis and Intelligence Lab, affectionately known as SAIL, at CAVS, the Center for Advanced Vehicular Systems, and this lab in Semerol Engineering, which is the Radar and Wearables Lab. At the SAIL Lab, we focus mainly on automotive autonomy, and this is a really great thing for the students because they get hands-on experience with robots and large vehicles with sensors developing very complex machine learning algorithms and computer vision algorithms. Here in this lab we focus more on wearables and looking at how can we determine body uh, motion and movements. Those things are very useful because with our uh, SOC that we've developed you can go outside of the lab so for instance we could have a basketball player go on the court uh, and not be uh, confined to working in the lab. Uh, over the last couple of years we've had over 20 funded projects which has enabled us to hire and support over 60 students, both undergraduate and graduate. This is a great opportunity because the students get real-world hands-on experience and work with some of the state-of-the-art sensors like radars, cameras, thermal cameras, LIDARs and the soft robotic sensors that we use in the labs. Some of the funding that we've got includes the National Science Foundation, AFRL, ERDIC, USDA, NASA, NOAA, and NIJ. My primary research area centers around sensor processing, which is a very broad area. Uh, we work with cameras, LIDARs, radars, thermal cameras, soft robotic sensors, all types of, of sensors and data. We do focus a lot on computer vision and that's a machine trying to understand what's happening in the environment, especially through a camera or a LIDAR. Uh, we do a lot of work over at CAVS in the autonomy area, especially in an unstructured environment like out in the woods, which is a little bit harder than working, uh, say, if you're just doing autonomy out on the streets, which is already hard enough. We specialize in deep learning and machine learning, especially for hard and complex problems. We focus on autonomy, computer vision, and sensor processing, and working on these hard problems allows the students to expand their capabilities and develop new uh, state-of-the-art methods that outperform everything else that's out there. Okay. Let me give you some of the examples uh, of some of the research we conduct. For NSF, we have a project where we're using wearables to measure ankle movements. That lets us do things like move out of the lab and go into the sports arena. And this work is particularly useful for athletics, for rehabilitation, for prehabilitation, which is trying to keep people from being injured, and in uh, telemedicine. With ERDIC, the Engineering Research and Development Center, our work is primarily focused on autonomy and sensor processing and understanding the environment, scene understanding and autonomy. Uh, for NOAA, we're doing some really exciting work with fish species identification and fish length estimation. That's a pr fairly easy thing for a human that's been trained. It's very difficult for a computer to do. And for the National Institute of Justice, we're working to detect contraband cell phones. Okay, not only detect them, but localize them. That's a big problem in our prisons, and we want to be able to do this with low-cost equipment so that it's feasible for people to implement. I'd like to invite any of you that want to come to Mississippi State to come to Simrall to see the radar or wearable lab, or to go to CAVS and see my autonomy and sensor processing lab.